Hi everyone, I'm Adi Banjo, and welcome back to The Town of Light. Uh, where we left off, we were in Renee's room in the semi-agitated ward, and it took me quite a while to figure out just how to trigger the story event, and that was pretty frustrating because I thought it was like ridiculously vague and hard. But anyway, enough of that. Let's continue with chapter 9 still in still in Renee's room in the uh, in the semi agitated ward and we're just going to dive right in looks like we got a Monte Foscoli 12th November 1939 dear daughter it is with great sadness that i have heard what has happened your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me it will take time but you'll see things will improve They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot, every day. Write to me often and tell me if you need anything. I'll do what I can. Try to be strong, Mom. This is the last letter she wrote me. Once I was put into this ward, loneliness arrived. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mom. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come? Did I make a mistake? It didn't look like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I should like to be able to reply to her again now to change things. Okay. So it's always nice to get a letter from mom. Or I guess uh, these days it's like texts or phone calls. Um, so that's kind of a bummer that she didn't get any more. Um... So, please, I beg you, get me out of this. So, do we get to choose what what we wrote in the letter to our mom? And what does that say? Got kinda mama, gonna I don't, I don't know, Italian words. Okay, they hurt me really badly. I'm so alone, nobody knows about me. It's as if I didn't exist. They've taken everything away from me. Please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so. That seems like the most reasonable letter to send. Uh, I don't know. If this works anything like prison, then they probably will read everything that you send. So if you send something like they've taken everything away from me, or they hurt me really, really badly, uh, then they'll probably... N never ever send that but these two look like they would get through the the sensors I'm so alone nobody knows about me it's as if I didn't exist but that one's a little too crazy let's let's send a rational request please I beg you get me out of this place it frightens me so oh we get to compose the whole thing okay even my friend helped me do something you were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed if only I knew how much. Uh, I don't feel like we necessarily did that much wrong. I have a fear which I can't understand. I'm completely confused. No, no, no crazy talk. Crazy talk bad. We want to get out. I can't keep on living like this without any reason. I can't even cry anymore. Okay, that's more crazy talk. Uh... Even my friend helped me... T I don't... I kind of want to go with that, but... I don't know. I don't want to go- I don't want to go with the- with the- the pandering answer. So, even though this one's vague and I don't even really understand- <laughs> even my friend helped me do something. Uh, let's go with that. But now I'll be- but now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very good. <laughs> More pandering. I don't know what's happening to me. Sometimes I don't even know where I am. They hated me. He hates me. He wants to kill me, but nobody understands. Nobody believes me. I just want to die. Okay, so so the lower right corner seems to be the suicide route. I just want to die in the evening. I hope not to wake up again. Ah... Uh... This seems like a pandering answer, which I don't... It makes me feel kind of icky, but... 
But this is kind of more crazy talk. Let's see if this one gets us out. Perhaps she would have listened to me. Will she reply? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. The game froze. Um, so, I don't know how how effective these letters are going to be since, you know, it's 2016 and, well, mom's probably not around anymore. Where's the post office? You guys know? Oh, jeez. Well, at least our flashlight works. Oh, wait. All of these are open now. Should we, uh... Should we systematically explore this? Well, that's... What is that? A light? Floodlight? Flash... Uh, spotlight? weird medical devices that the purpose of which I do not know um, and uh, some more wards what's this oh, it's just ruffled and dirty okay that's interesting Is that an amplifier? Interesting. Damn kids. Um, somebody neatly lined up these books here. That's something. Oh, wow. What a mess. Ooh, you know what? This looks like, uh... Usually when we see stuff like this where there's stuff beyond, it means, like, we have to do something to unlock that. And then that stuff just mysteriously goes away. Which, I don't know if that's us moving it or what. Um... There's a hole in the middle of that mattress. <laughs> um, oh... Oh, so I, I guess they they strap you in here and uh, you just you don't go to leave to go to the bathroom or anything. Okay, that's that's depressing. All right. Hello. Hello, I've got your mail. Special delivery? No? Alright, moving on. Wow, all the detail in these rooms. Very cool to look at. I don't think there's a lot of... Uh... Oh, hello! This looks like a cozy place. Maybe Charlotte would like this one. We can upgrade her. What time is it? It is a little after 3 p.m. <laughs> if I wonder what that runs on. What is that? It's like a wheelchair tricycle. Very cool. I want it. Can I sit in it? No. Did I already go in here? Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so... Nothing more to do in there, I don't think. So what's our vague clue this time? Perhaps she would have listened to me, would you? Um...
What did I do wrong? I should like to be able to reply to her again now to change things. Yeah, I don't I don't think it works that way, girl. I don't know. Uh um, so we're look looking for where we would put letters, like, while this place was still in operation, I think. That may be way off, though. I'm, I'm not, I'm working on my crazy logic, but it's, it's, it's not too good. So, laundry, pa patient storeroom and archive? Would that... Would that be? Like, yeah, like, would we go down to the front office? That's kind of where I'm going to head here in a second, if nothing happens in here. Because I would think, if we were patient, and we had some mail to send off, that we would take it to the, the front office. When you were sent to a lunatic asylum, uh -oh. you lost the right to possess anything. Everything you arrived with was packed up and stored here. Even the clothes you were wearing, in case you were released one day. Too many, however, never left. What the hell chapter are we on? Still on nine, okay. And it looks like there it looks like we're on a path that uh um it looks like we had other other possible another possible path we could go on. But we're on this one. Oh, a bundle of letters. Um. Okay. Keys? What is the point of looking at them? I mean, it's it's cool. You know, I guess there isn't a point. All right, so this looks like mail. Looks like there a... must be a file with my name in the filing cabinet somewhere here. Oh, thank you, game. Yes, please. Why does it look like I can interact with it? A file with her name in the filing cabinet somewhere. I wish this game would give me more clues like that, like more directional clues. Oh, this looks like a f filing cabinet. Hello? Ooh, look at all the little fuzzies floating around in the air. Oh, we weren't paying attention. Oh, so we're Renee T. Right? I think. R-S-T. Well, that, that would, whether it was first name or last name, this would be the place. Dear Mother, please, I beg you, get me out of this place. It frightens me so much. You were right. I know I was wrong. I realize I'm so ashamed. If you only knew how much... Hey, we didn't pick that. But now I'll behave well. Sure, now things will be fine. I'll work hard. I'll be very We good. picked that one. Your daughter, Renee. This letter. It was Renee's letter. Just like when it was written. But it was never sent. Why? Why did a thing like that happen? Oh, that sucks. I've received your letter, Mum. You tell me to be patient and strong while I only have fear and pain, and you no longer write to me. If only these lines could be my soul and tell you what's happening to me. Oh, it's so sad. The kids want to kill me. She, they all look never... the other way, and they tell me what I must do. I don't understand. She helps me, but what have they done to her? Can you tell me? Will you help me? Renee. Not fulfilled. Wow. Mm. Not Monte delivered. Monte Fascoli, 7th July, 1940. My dear daughter, I have received no news from you. You haven't even dropped me a line for months. Unfortunately, I can't afford to come and visit you. I've no money for the fare. 
Do you remember Mr. Onofrio? He'll soon be coming to Volterra on business. I've asked him if would be kind enough to ask the director to have news about you. I hope when he comes back, he'll be able to give me good news. But write to me. I know that I was strict with you. You have to excuse me. I didn't realize. I've given Mr. Onofrio a new doll for you. You told me that you lost yours, and I know you loved it so much. It's not as nice as your Charlotte, but I hope that it will comfort you nonetheless. Keep your chin up, daughter. Things will be fine. You'll see. Mom. Not delivered. Montefascoli, 12th October, 1940. Dear daughter, I've written two letters to you and have received no reply. I await a letter anxiously every day. Mr. Onofrio has come back. He brought you the doll. Do you like it? He told me he didn't manage to speak to the director, but he did see you. I pray for you every day. Don Gino said a prayer for you during Sunday Mass. That was lovely, wasn't it? I've made up my mind, Renee. I'm going to bring you home. I've already written to the director. I told him that I'll take care of you. At the moment, I'm not well and can't work, but I'll soon get better. You'll see as soon as I'm up to making the journey, I'll come and get you. I know you're suffering a lot, but bear up, I beg you. Mum will come and pick up Renee, won't she? Mum is good, but she's not well. That's why that man came. The doll. Renee could have played with it, waiting for her to arrive. But Renee never had it with her. Is it one of Mum's lies? She knew that she had hurt Renee and... No, no, Mummy's good. That man brought it. We've just remembered him, haven't we? It was Renee who was wrong. Doll's there, that's sure. Perhaps she's been kidnapped like everyone else, locked up somewhere in here. Wow. So that's, that's extremely, extremely sad. So apparently they cut off uh, communication between Renee and uh, correspondence between Renee and her mother. Um... So we don't we don't know yet if if uh if Renee ever got that that doll her mom sent. That's sweet and so sad. <laughs> Very sad. What's this? Nothing. So I think our next objective is to find that doll that Renee's mom sent. Oops, that's not. Okay. I don't know if there's anything in here that we can get to. Oh, that would help. There we go. So if we're looking for the doll, I wonder if we would keep looking in here. Or, like she, we saw some, some, some vague memories of the doll in other places. Like, like apparently she saw the doll in the past, so it probably didn't stay in here forever. Yeah, right. All the, none of this stuff would still be here in present day. All this shit would have been, like, looted, ransacked. Like, seriously, unopened packages? People would have gone through that shit. Animals would have tore it up. Animals are pretty bad. Um, about a bandit... What is this? It took control of my camera and, and moved it up there without me doing that. Do I need to be looking up? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Yes! Oh, I can move that. Okay. Um, how do we get up further? This? Oh, we got a package, okay. Now we can open the bundle on that table in front of the window. Thank you for specific direction, game. I, I really, really need that. Okay, this table. Aw, look! Mom sent us a care package. New shoes. Clothes, a prayer card thingy, a picture. Oh, let's look at them. 
Who's that? Is that us? Is that mom? May the Lord guide your path and keep you away from sin, mom. What about... I want to look at the other things before we look at the doll, because I feel like the doll is, is the story trigger. Oh my god, awkward. How do I... Come on, man. Well, I can't read it anyway. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This is extremely awkward. I don't know how to... Wait. Wait. Oh, my God. Renee. Aw. It's... I don't know what that word means. Is that her 18th birthday? 1935, she was her 18th birthday. Shoes. They were probably new when they were sent. A little old now. Can we... Who's this? Is this mom and us? Since we like dolls, I guess, that must be us. That must be mom. Poor mom. She tried to get us out, apparently, but didn't have the means. And also the doctor's kind of... Oh, I can't. It's too bright. Can we touch those letters? No. Okay, let's get, do the doll. See, mom was good. I was bad. Mom was worried about Renee and Charlotte. I abandoned Charlotte. We've abandoned her. Oh. Chapter 10. Um. So without anything else to go on after that. Oh, it's so sad though. That our. Like. Mom is long gone. She sent us these presents that. That we never got while she was still alive. That's just. It's really sad. Um, so, I'm going to go, uh, rather than in this episode, I'm just going to take a quick little break here, and, uh, we'll just, we'll just pick up where, uh, where we left off here and continue in chapter 10. I'll be right back. Okay, back. So, we're in chapter 10 now. Unfortunately, we've got not a lot of, well, actually, no direction on where to go from here. Um, okay, well, she the last thing she mentioned was Charlotte, so maybe that's a clue that we need to go back to sh where Charlotte is and find Charlotte. And then maybe that'll... Let's look for Charlotte. We have abandoned her. Okay. She will always remain where we abandoned her. Beneath the hot lights... Is that where we abandoned her long ago? Is that why she was still in here? Who are we? What? Like... It, this was 70 years ago. Okay. Charlotte! Okay. I didn't do anything. I only obeyed orders. Charlotte's gone away. I didn't come to get us now. I only obeyed orders. Leave us alone. 
Sorry guys, I had control over this. <laughs> I was just watching the wall go by. I didn't do anything. I only obeyed orders. Okay, can't look all the way that way. Can, can we move? Should I try? Okay. It started moving when I hit my arrow keys, but it didn't... I didn't have full control. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. So they're tying us down. What do, okay, what do I do? Oh, is that something we bite down on? What's that guy doing? So I'm trying to move with my arrow keys, but... Is there something else we can do here? What do we do? What is that? Oh no! Electroshock! Oh dear. That was an electrode. I never want to do electroshock. It doesn't. It, even though it's come a long way, I don't know. Chapter 11. Okay, you can stop the. Can we stop the ringing now? Really? Come on, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, God, that was... <laughs> uh, okay, do we have anything else to go on? No. Um... Wait, what's that? Was that there before? Seventh September, 1938. The patient frequently indulges in recriminations expressed in an explosive tone of voice. This morning she threw away the milk, saying it was full of urine, spittle, and all the other filth. Praised, she hears voices. They order her about. She says she heard children singing. They were imprisoned in a school. 20th January, 1939. Mutistic, groggy, pays no attention to anything. When questioned and stimulated, she starts crying and weeping. At other times, she laughs. 1st June. Apathetic, eats very little. She refuses to be touched. Doesn't respond. Passes her time in the park. The cooks report that she sits on a bench in front of the kitchens. 14 October. Impulsive once again. This morning, she asked for two eggs to make salvoglioni. But the moment she was given them, she threw them away. 
excited, uproarious, slightly confused. She strips off. 8th December. Tied to bed for 15 days. High-spirited, tends to make witty comments and use vulgar words, laughs hysterically, masturbates. The nurses report that about two weeks ago she remained in the showers on her own and didn't want to leave. They report that when they took her away she swore at them and then hit out at them and bit them. Two nurses had to be treated for their injuries. Since then they've kept her tied to the bed. Transferred to the semi-agitated ward. From the care of Dr. B to the care of Dr. C. I was with Amara in the showers. My memories terrify me. They're not real, are they? Um... Yeah, they're just a figment of my imagination. What reality are we referring to, indeed? M memory is what you are. I like that one. I don't I don't know how that relates to our character, but you know, I like it philosophically speaking. 15th December. Dr. C. Patient notes. The abnormality of her psychic state has induced her to lead a life which is irregular and tends towards delinquency. A fickle and flighty character, she abandons her household duties at intervals and dabbles in occasional prostitution. Prostitution? Nobody would have ever believed a lunatic, let alone a lunatic who lives in the worst sort of sin. Could such a person ever have been raped? Certainly not. Her mental deficiency makes her deaf to the reprimands of her family. She has shown suicidal tendencies. She was brought to the ward yesterday, agitated and vociferous. Treated with cardizol, two injections a week for five weeks. They were only trying to confuse us with the therapy and, my god, they managed. It was as if they wanted to instill the madness into us. So is this art, this is us? We're answering as us, I guess? The, the, in, previous, in a previous episode, we were answering in a, from a perspective that I just wasn't sure who we were supposed to be answering as, like the doctor or what, but that seems to be us. They were the only therapies that could be used. There were so many of you. Or are we the doctor again? There were so many of you. What could they do to manage that hell when there were so few of them the end justifies the means for those who have the power what? I don't know what we're like what are the consequences of our choices here and how do, how do these choices relate to those consequences I'm not sure okay so let me re read the question again they were only trying to confuse us or, or the statement they're only trying to confuse us with the therapy and my god, they managed. It was as if they wanted to instill the madness into us. They were the only therapies that could be used. The hell? They were the only therapies that could be used? I mean... All, all of these are, like, pretty... Uh, apologetic for the... For the the institution which I don't necessarily agree with with that point of view but um, this seems the most most that I feel they were the only therapies that could be used that's all they knew how to do I guess it was torture but you couldn't refuse it no one explained anything to us no one tried to make us understand we were like animals on a stock farm You were too many and they were too few. It was impossible to do otherwise. They also had their nightmares within these walls. They didn't know what to do with you. You were damned souls, dangerous, who ought to have taken care of you. Well, I don't necessarily agree with all these. Um. I do believe this one was true. They also had their nightmares within these walls. They didn't know what to do with you. 2nd June. After a long period of calm and improvement, the patient is very agitated today. 
and vehemently refuses to submit to a gynecological examination. She swore and cursed those who generated her, flailing her arms and hitting out. The patient, according to reports by Dr. B, has been subjected to periodic checkups since she had a spontaneous abortion about two years ago in her third month of pregnancy. Conception occurred after she had sexual intercourse with a stranger who sneaked into the hospital park. As detailed in the charges filed at police headquarters in Volterra, a copy of which is attached to these clinical notes, ES therapy. Spontaneous abortion? It's not true, I'm certain. How could I have invented things if I didn't even know what they were doing to me? It really happened, they made you abort, but it was illegal, and so they had to write that it was spontaneous. Probably. That's a lie. What is written here might be false, or the wrong way of looking at things. Perhaps Renee did really know. You can't be certain. You know that, don't you? Ugh. Well, we don't know. I'm not even sure Renee knows. Um. Perhaps Re Renee really. Perhaps Renee did really know. You can't be certain. You know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I am not certain of anything. 13th June. The nurses report that after having received her mother's letter, she fell into a state of great mental confusion. She threw her soup over another inmate because she was very anxious, and she punched a nurse. Impulsive lashes about her. She rails against the doctor in vulgar terms while he is examining her, lashes out and spits. Block all correspondence so as not to give the patient further reasons to become agitated. 20th August, tied to bed. The nurses report that the patient becomes highly agitated after the visit of a relative or family friend. Even two days later, she still shouts ceaselessly that he commands her, that she must obey and harm herself, and that she is not Charlotte. All visits forbidden, constrained to bed and intensification of ES therapy until we achieve results. No contact with the exterior. In that way, no one knew what was happening within these walls. Yeah, that's 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 kind of kind of a bullshit uh, response. Like, it may have agitated her, but but still, I mean, jeez, to like cut someone off like that from 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 their their family. Uh, human misery was thrown in here and locked away to make the world forget about it. In, in a nutshell, the people who were who were in here were no longer human beings as far as society was concerned. The important thing was to keep you quiet. And I don't, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of moot. You don't remember what happened when the letters arrived. How can you judge? God knows how much suffering they spared you. Yeah, but it's kind of open to interpretation why she was agitated at those letters. Maybe she was became agitated because she wanted out, and the, every letter from the outside was a reminder that of of a life that she was separate from. Um, I don't know. That's you know what I'm I'm not happy with this statement, but it's kind of kind of true. 3rd March. Alert, correct attitude, replies when questioned. The nurses report that the patient is calm. She washes and looks after herself. She affirms the existence of a certain Amara. She says that Amara is a patient who disappeared when she was moved to this ward. No confirmation. Probably a regressive hallucination. Evaluate transfer. Amara invented by me? That's not possible. She was there. I know she was there. I feel it. She must have left traces somewhere. So it's possible that we we just imagined Amara? She um she mentioned before that Amara was not part of this system 
was was that like a way of subconsciously rationalizing that Amara was not real? All interesting things, uh, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, but we're going to have to figure that out in the next episode. What is that sound? It's getting more intense. Um, I don't know if I should cut here. That's kind of... Yeah, I probably should. Okay, so, uh, so that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to find out more about what's going on in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.